That's a poo. That's a poo. It's been a moment. Here we are together. Let's get moving. That's a poo. So glad to have you here with us this morning. I'm glad to be here to offer Yang's Tai Chi Chuan, Qigong, Aha, some of our Rekhati Committee, Kemetic Mind Science, some of our breathing exercises. I hope you're ready today to get moving with us. As usual, we're going to start with our Shasha, our bow to the ancestors, the elders, and the masters that have gone before us. And we start with our mutual respect for one another. Then we get right into the Asar stance. We get into the Qigong and the form. And today we're gonna to make sure we're also gonna do some reminders on some of the self-defense applications. We're gonna do some Tai Chi walking because we really want y'all to get to the place where you have an understanding of the rootedness and how to move while rooted and what that means. And then we'll go over breathing exercises. We'll get to the wisdom from the sages of the ages. And once we get from the wisdom from the sages of the ages, then we'll get to our closing shiasha. All right, everybody ready? All right, well then let's make it happen. Let's get to a spot where you got in your wuchi position. All right, let's do it. All right, wuchi position, which means heels together from your 90 degree angle or capital L, apex of the angle going straight out in front of you. Knees are straight but unlocked. Bottom is tucked. Shoulders relaxed, head is level, like balanced. We bring the hands in the pyramid hands, and we bow in to all the African, Indian, Asian, Chinese, Native American, and Pacific Islander masters that have gone before us. We bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the weight to the right up on the left toes. You're gonna to step to the left, a little wider than shoulders width, heel first. Balance the weight between the legs, sit down. All right, open the hands into the Asar stance position. Gonna go for 20 breaths. And begin.
I get a little deeper for four breaths. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right, slide that left foot into Wuchi position. And shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, back in the Wuchi. Pyramid hands. Shifting the weight to the right upon the left toes, stepping to the left, heel first, a little wide and shoulders width, balance it out. Sit down. And so holding the golden orbs in each palm, two breaths. Rotating the palms into oneness for two breaths. Into the turtle. And out to the drawbridge. Point the head between the legs for two breaths. Into oneness. Grab it through the chute. into oneness, hold it. Excellent, now from oneness, we're gonna go into elbows. 
So it's here. I'm gonna go here. In, out, in, out. I'm at a faster pace. I want you to use the bellows breathing. Into one list. Right hand on top of left hand, palms up, thumbs touching, hands beneath the navel, arms and hands not touching the body. Rotate the left hand on top, palms are facing each other. I'm gonna see a ball of golden white light like the sun in between the palms of the hands. Get to oneness. Into the turtle, chin down, out to the drawbridge. Point the hands between the legs for two breaths. Into oneness. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right, we slide the left foot in the Wuchi position. Let me shake it out opposite hand, opposite leg. All right. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Into the car position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward, two breaths. All right, we're gonna shift all the way to this right leg. You know, pivot out with the left. And step forward with the right. 
Place the hands in this position. A little different today is gonna to switch it up. Four breaths, still receptive. All right, we'll step back with that right, pivot on that left, bring the hands down. Again, bring the hands up to cop position. You're gonna shift the weight to the left, pivot on that right, shift the weight, step forward with the left, turn the waist, drop those hands into position again, four breaths. Remember, all the weight is on the rear leg. Stepping back, pivot on the right foot. The feet are now straight and parallel. Bring the hands down, and we go right into the gathering. All right, clasp the hands, interlace the fingers, palms outward, right at heart level. I'm gonna raise the hands towards the heavens. I'm gonna do this eight times. Here we go, breathing in, up on the toes, down out, seven more. Bring the hands down. As you breathe in, take the right hand up. As you exhale, switch hands. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. And. Out. Keeping the left hand up as you breathe in. Breathing out, turning to the right. Breathing in, turning to the left. Breathing out front and center. Breathing in, press the hands up. Breathing in some more, in some more. Fill up, turn to your right, turn to the left, front and center, exhale. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Feet, shoulders width. Gonna breathe in, palms facing you. 
As you exhale, let the palms fall to the ground. Inhale, exhale. Palms facing out, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right. Feet parallel, shoulders width. And we're going to get into swinging arms. All right, here we go. Remember, the goal is full range of motion. But you want to go where you can go naturally right now. Let them swing till they stop. All right. Now we're going to open the chest and stretch the back. Sink it down and bring it up. Four more. And last one. All right, shake it out. All right, so now you're gonna turn your body so the right leg is facing camera. And we're gonna do our Tai Chi walk. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Hands at the ready position, shifting all the weight to that right leg as you breathe in, pick up that left and step, exhale, inhale, and go where you can go. Then you turn around and you go back the opposite way. So let's just stop right now. We'll go here and that's the beauty of Tai Chi is that you can work it in any space that you have, okay? So we'll do it here. Again, hands at the ready position, shifting that weight and bringing the leg up and exhale, inhale, exhale, Shift. I'm going to use the whole foot here. See? See? Here? There you go. This is what you want as you're shifting the weight. Buttock stays tucked. All right. Shake it out. All right. Now, feet parallel, shoulders width. 
We're gonna do it nice and easy. Wave hands like claps. Right hand on top, left hand underneath. Shift the weight, turn to the right and exchange hands. We come the other direction. All right, bring it to front and center, bring the hands down, and go ahead, sunrises over the mountain and sunsets. We're going at a medium speed. We want to be accessible to everyone. All right, we're gonna ward off right and left four breaths. Here we go.
Come on, right on back to sunrises. All right, here we go. Four breaths to grass a bird's tail. All right, check it out. And from last time, we're gonna go all the way to Perry and Punch. All the way to Perry and Punch. All right, ready? Good, feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down, as you exhale, sun rises. Straight flow all the way through. And then we release and we push. I think that's where we left off, right? If not, we just added it. <laughs> All right, shake it out. And we're gonna do it again. Went all the way to that push. All right, here we go. Sinking down, sun rising.
and hand is here on top. And come underneath and wipe the elbow as you shift the weight. Come back and then you're gonna push. Okay, good. Shake it out. And go ahead and add that one. We're gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna to get to the breathing exercises. Here we go. Sinking down, sun rises. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. And grab a seat. We'll get to our breathing exercises. All right, sitting tall. I'll take that right palm, thumb, and index finger together. Palm up, relaxed. I'll take that left thumb, block off the left nostril. Middle and index finger, the center of the forehead. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In, out, fire breath. Deep breath in, release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Both palms up, resting on the thighs, middle thumb and index finger, tips touching. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Chin down. And release. Palms down. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Awesome. Great session, everyone. We're now going to get to the portion that we call Wisdom from the Sages of the Ages. 
and we're doing a twofer during this session. So we've been doing the mindfulness aspect of present moment, wonderful moment from Master Thich Nhat Han here. I just lost our bookmark there. That's all right. So if you remember before, we had gone through the basics of how we got up and got the day started, brushing our teeth and bathing, looking at our hand was the last one. So the one we're gonna do next is the one that we're gonna call getting dressed. Because for many of us, after you get the sweat going and you bathe and you wash the body, you get dressed. So let's look at the mindfulness exercises around that. Here we go. Putting on these clothes. I am grateful to those who made them and to the materials from which they were made. I wish everyone could have enough to wear. And so here is an adaptation. Check this out. This is a Vietnamese folk song adaptation. My father works the land for the rice we eat. My mother sews the clothes I wear at every season. And so he went on to say, today, not many of our fathers work the land. We buy our food in a store. Nor do many of our mothers sew our clothes. We buy manufactured clothes. So by introducing the word grateful, which is not in the folk song, the meaning becomes wider. In Chin or Zen monasteries, before eating, the monks reflect on the sources of their food. As we get dressed in the morning, we can contemplate the sources of our clothing and the fact that not everyone has enough to wear. And we'll end with the teachings of Patahatep. Clear the mind. Okay. If you plow, and if there is growth in your field, and God lets it prosper in your hand, don't boast to your neighbor. One has great respect for the silent person. A person of character is a person of wealth. If that person robs, he or she is like a crocodile in the middle of the waters. If God gives you children, don't impose on one who has no children. Neither should you decry or brag about having your own children, for there is many a parent who has grief and many a parent with children who is less content than another. It is the lonely whom God nurtures, while the family parents pray for a follower. Dua. Thank you. So now we're at that precious moment where we're going to bow out and we say to all the African, Indian, Asian, Chinese, Native American, Pacific Islander masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher, Ashe, to the honor and respect to the ancestors, the elders, the masters that have gone before us, paying respects to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky. Say to you, Atapu. Peace and Ankh Uja Seneb, life, health, strength, and posterity to you. Practice through this weekend. Enjoy and relish in this time. Hold the people you love close to you. Let them know how you feel about them. These are challenging times that we live in. It is important that we are able to see right well with our two eyes and to hear right well with our two ears. And the ways that becomes possible is how we breathe with these two nostrils and what passes these two lips. I thank you for joining us today, for your time, your participation, and most of all, your presence. Duau, Tatapu, Ang Uja Sanem.